I'd like to take a look at some freshly excavated lamparite. Lamparite is a volcanic rock that came up from 150 kilometers deep within the earth from the earth's molten mantle. Uh, 150 kilometers, that's 93 miles in USA terms. Um, <laughs> geologists will lick rocks to look at them and get them wet. I'm glad I'm not a geologist, I'm a prospector, so I'm just going to use uh, water and wet the When you wet them, well, it gets some of the dirt off of them, but it also makes the, the dark components darker and the light components brighter. So we'll just clean them off a minute and look at them wet. Uh, it looks like dirt on them, but actually that is broken up. Uh, volcanic rock. All of this is volcanic lamparite. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll take a quick look here after wetting them down some. And uh, these were dug up this morning at the Worthington Diamond Mine. We're located less than a half mile from Southwest Arkansas's famous Crater of Diamond State Park. Uh, there are. This is a private diamond mine, not open to the public. This has never been searched. This, this diamond bearing rock has never seen the light of day until today. I dug it up with an excavator. And it comes out in these big chunks. It also breaks down into much smaller pieces as well. But uh, we'll take a look at what we've got here. And uh, it'd be cool if a diamond rolled out, but that's, you, you need to watch a lot of this to find a diamond. So I doubt we're gonna find a diamond. But well, we're going to study some rock here. So let's uh, put the garden hose away and take a look. Now, there are a lot of different types of olivine lamparite. Uh, this is the best type. It is a Brescia. You see the large clasps in it. See the large angular chunks. That is like uh, ice cubes. This was once molten rock, and you want these big chunks in here to help, you know, cool the, the molten rock quicker. It retains the diamonds better. If it stays hot, the diamonds resorb out of it, and they turn to CO2 gas. And these angular clasps are like, because they were like room temperature before the volcano, they're... They're like ice cubes in it that cool off the magma quickly. And the angular clasps are great. That makes it a Brescia. Now, Brescia is spelled B-R-E-C-C-I-A, not B-R-E-S-H-A. But that's the geologist term for it. This one's a little big to pick up, but we'll just get over here and take a look at it. But you can see the chunks in there. Now, after it cooled, it cracked and minerals washed in. The, some of the black pieces in here are uh, manganese and iron, which is a mm, gothite limonite. Now you can see the layers in this. What I like about this piece is this is contact zone. So there was clay there before the volcano, and this is the clay to the side over here. And this is the volcanic material, so sedimentary and volcanic. So this cooled quickly because it was in contact with the country rock. Same here, you can see the clay, and then this is all the volcanic that cooled, cooled quickly. So anyway, that's a, a look at some of the rocks that just came out of the ground at the Worthington Diamond Mine this morning. And this is all very good for diamond.